Hello and welcome to CSR Story. Today we are talking about the progress of India's nuclear power capacity. The country has seen a significant increase in the generation of nuclear power since 2014, when Narendra Modi took over as the Prime Minister. Presently 22 nuclear power reactors operational in the country. As per the recent figures, in 2013-14 the annual nuclear power generation in India was 35,333 million units, and in the latest year of 2021-22 it stands at 47,112 million units, which is a nearly 30-40% to 40 increase in just over 8 and a half years. This was reported by the Union Minister of State Dr. Jitendra Singh during a discussion in the Rajya Sabha on nuclear power reactors. The minister credited Prime Minister Narendra Modi for taking a number of groundbreaking decisions that have helped supplement the rise of nuclear power generation in India. For example, the cabinet headed by Prime Minister Modi gave simultaneous bulk approval for 11 indigenous pressurized heavy water reactors in 2017, at a cost of 105,000 crore rupees and with a total capacity of 7,000 megawatts. The minister cited a number of path breaking out of the box decisions taken by Prime Minister Narendra Modi to supplement the rise of nuclear power generation in India. For example, he said, if there were only 22 reactors in the country before this government came in, the cabinet headed by Prime Minister Modi gave simultaneous bulk approval for as many as 11 indigenous pressurized heavy water reactors in 2017 at a total cost of Rs. 105,000 crore and total capacity of 7,000 megawatts. Additionally, Prime Minister Narendra Modi allowed joint ventures with public sector in the takings, PSUs, to enhance India's nuclear program. As a result, the Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited, NPCIL, is currently in two joint ventures with National Thermal Power Corporation Limited, NTPC, and the Indian Oil Corporation Limited, IOCL. The minister also informed that the Modi government is promoting the expansion of nuclear power to other parts of the country, apart from South India and Maharashtra and Gujarat. For instance, the upcoming nuclear power plant in Gorakhpur town of Haryana will become functional soon. Another proud moment for India is the setting up of the world's first thorium-based nuclear plant, Bhavni, using uranium-233 in Kalpakkam, Tamil Nadu. It will be entirely indigenous and the first of its kind. The experimental thorium plant, Kamani, already exists in Kalpakkam. Let me summarize, India's nuclear power capacity has seen a significant increase since 2014, and its all credit goes to Prime Minister Narendra Modi's path-breaking decisions. With the world's first thorium-based nuclear plant being set up in Tamil Nadu, India's future in the nuclear power sector looks bright. Nuclear power plays a significant role in economic growth by providing a reliable and stable source of energy. It contributes to a country's energy security and helps to diversify the energy mix, reducing dependence on fossil fuels. This, in turn, leads to lower energy costs, which can be passed on to consumers and businesses, boosting economic growth. In addition, the development and maintenance of a nuclear power infrastructure requires a significant investment of capital and the creation of highly skilled jobs, which can drive economic growth and provide a boost to local economies. Nuclear power can also be used to support other industries, such as agriculture and manufacturing, by providing the energy they need to operate. Overall, the development and expansion of nuclear power can have a positive impact on a country's economy, by providing a reliable and affordable source of energy, creating jobs, and supporting other industries. We hope you found this addition to be informative and meaningful. If so, please consider giving the video a thumbs up, sharing it with your network, and subscribing to our channel for future updates on CSR, ESG, Responsible Business, Corporate Governance and Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs. Your support is greatly appreciated.